So today we need to discuss one of the biggest topics in all of college football. And of course, today we're talking about Coach Prime, the transfer portal, and the mass exodus Colorado has experienced. And anytime we arrive at this point, there are several sub points I always see. First and foremost, is this surprising? Secondly, should Colorado fans be concerned? And finally, what does it all mean? Today we aim to answer all of those, but before we can, as always, y'all know the drill. I have got to hear from you. Hop down to the comments, give me a Y for yes or an N for no. Do you believe Colorado fans should be concerned about the amount of movement they've experienced in the transfer portal, let me know what you're thinking. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. Hit that bell notification as I do constant college football content. You don't want to miss any of it. And if you enjoyed the content, be sure to like and comment down below as those interactions are massive to content creators such as myself. And we're on a push to 20,000 subscribers. I'd love to have you a part of this unbelievable community. But having said all that, let's jump right into this. And I'd like to start by addressing the first sub point first. The point of, should this be surprising? And personally, I don't find this to be inherently surprising for several different reasons the biggest of which is that Coach Prime has been forthright that this is exactly what everybody around college football needed to expect. Whenever he got to Colorado, he said, I'm bringing in my guys. And if we look even more recently than that, not long ago, Coach Prime was talking and I made a video immediately after stating Colorado was going to get real active in the transfer portal. First and foremost, I think that the second transfer portal window is very compelling. We'll talk about that here in a little bit. Secondly, it was the comments he made. And when Whenever I look at the first point that I think that the second transfer portal window is compelling and the comments Coach Prime made, to me, it was clear as day that they were going to get real active in the transfer portal. And the reason why I thought they would be even more active in the second portal window is because it was Coach Prime's first time to actually get a tangible glimpse as to what he had to work with. Prior to that, he only had film to go off of. But during the second transfer portal window, he's had spring practices to go off of. So now he has a real understanding of the needs of this team, how much the needs are, and how to best address those needs. So I knew we would see more more movement from Colorado in the transfer portal, both players leaving and players coming. Now, did I expect to see this much movement? It's tough to say that anybody expected to see this much movement. I think there were many around college football that thought we'd see a lot of movement. This much is always a little bit surprising in the sense of the numbers, but at the end of the day, I'm not surprised to see movement from Colorado. And I think this bleeds us into the second point. Should Colorado fans be concerned? Because I think that this next point both answers, is this surprising and should they be concerned? We have got to acknowledge that Colorado was 1-11 last year. This was not a team that had moments where they could have taken advantage of a moment in a game and it completely changed the trajectory of their season. They were being beaten soundly. This is a true rebuild that Coach Prime has got to come in here and try and execute. And whenever we're talking rebuilds, I always liken it to building a house where you've got to start with a solid foundation because if your foundation isn't good, you're building on shaky ground. Well, in the case of Coach Prime in Colorado, he's got to come in there and start from the foundation again, meaning rip everything down and start from scratch. Because of that, I thought that this was to be expected. Now, that being said, there are certain names that have entered the transfer portal that are surprising. Montana Craig, an individual who had a massive spring game, entered the transfer portal right after, and I think that took several people by surprise because he showed just how talented he is. Now, we have to remember that Jimmy Horn Jr. comes in, Xavier Weaver comes in. There are several guys that Coach Prime brought in in that wide receiver room that they're excited about, but that's exactly why recruiting is going to be so big. That's exactly why I said, hey, everybody who's looking at this to be a one-year turnaround, you need to look at this long-term because I think Coach Prime is looking at this long term and personally I think looking at this long term is a much more conducive path to success than looking at this as a quick turnaround. Now, in the case of Coach Prime, he's trying to do both. He's trying to utilize the transfer portal for a quick turnaround, but I also think they're hitting recruiting so hard and so ferociously because they've acknowledged, hey, while we can use the transfer portal to get better now, we've got to utilize recruiting to get better in the future. Recruiting is still king in college football whenever we're talking about talent acquisition. The transfer portal allows you to band-aid, but recruiting allows you to completely build. Something I I'm super interested in seeing. Now, one thing we've got to acknowledge, as important as recruiting is, Coach Prime got there in a timeline that didn't allow him to maximize any one individual recruiting class. He came there 
right as one recruiting class was ending and we were transitioning into the class of 2024. So he didn't really get to execute recruiting at his full strength. That's what I'm super excited to see. But Coach Prime is trying to both utilize the transfer portal to get better now and utilize recruiting to build something conducive to long-term success. How that marriage works, I'm super interested to see, but that bleeds us into the last point. The only point that to be quite honest, I don't have the answer to give to all of you. What does this mean long term for Colorado? And the reason why I don't have the answer to give to you, even though I don't know that this is concerning, even though I don't find this surprising, we have not seen a roster rebuild of this magnitude in college football yet using the transfer portal. This is something we're going to be talking about for years to come. And because of that, I'm absolutely fascinated by what happens in Boulder. I'm going to be watching really closely because this is fascinating. It's talking about where we are currently in college football with the state of the transfer portal and what it means for roster building in the current age of college football. This is something we're going to be looking back on for quite some time. We're going to be talking about it for quite some time. So what this means, I don't quite know, but I do fall back on my opinion of I think Coach Prime is both trying to balance utilizing the transfer portal to get better now from a team that was 1-11 last year, that wasn't a few moments in a few games away from changing the trajectory of their season, they were being beaten soundly. He said he would utilize the transfer portal. They needed the talent, but I also think he's trying to balance that with long-term success that you get through recruiting. But once again, we need to understand he didn't get there with a year into the class of 2023 to go where he could start building relationships. He got there, and within a few days, early signing day was there, and it was only a month or two away from national signing day so he didn't have a whole lot of time in the class of 2023 which means his only option was utilizing the transfer portal to the degree we're seeing i'm super intrigued to see what all this means for colorado once the season gets here but i'm more intrigued from hearing from all of you hop down to the comments let me know what you're thinking that's it see you